Hey, what's up, everyone? It's uh, it's Thursday, the 26th of January, 2023. I keep forgetting it's 2023. I keep thinking 2022, 2020, 20, I think there's too many 20s in there. Look, it's Thursday, it's the 26th. So this is uh, day trade with Tony. And we've been day trading today. We, we, tra we day trade the stock market, so equities or stocks and shares. Uh, we don't day trade the forex or crypto or futures or options it's the, the only instrument we trade on this channel is, is stocks and shares so we're tra trading the stock stock market and it was a difficult day's trading today so we traded four stocks in total the first one we traded uh, it took us red uh, we managed to get a little bit back and i'll, I'll show you uh, we, we took uh, four trades the first three entries with uh, with that were were, were red uh, and then on the, our fourth entry, we got a, a nice move up and managed to recover some of that, um, probably about a third of uh, a third of the damage that we'd done. Then it just we just had one of those very quiet lulls in in the day. It, there was just nothing moving at all up until power hour. I tried to trade uh, today's IPO, uh, so GNLX is the ticker, and like you do with an IPO you you let it open up and then look for a bit settle down and then and, and look for some kind of uh, some pattern after after a couple of uh, couple of candles now it opened up and moved into a halt up to the upside then pulled back hard then found a little bit of support and then as it moved back up again that, that's kind of uh, on on the the, the VWAP we look for a VWAP bounce and then it sold off again so I managed to get green on it and then gave it back and I finished um, about $160 green on that. So th that was pretty much it up until Power Hour. We traded two stocks in Power Hour. Uh, we traded uh, Cosmos Holdings. Keep calling it Cosmos Holdings because that's what it was called up until last month. We traded Cosmos Health. I managed to get over $2,000 on Cosmos Health. I called it out in the Discord when it when it was going in. We got the nice pop up. We got a good 20, 20, 25 cents on that. Then it pulled back hard, and then it started to make another move back up. So I was able to get in on that as well. Uh, about a thousand dollars each move. Uh, so that that was nice. And then we traded um, TCBP was the ticker, and we managed to get a, a, a lovely move on that again in Power Hour. A lovely move on that, uh, and we managed to get four thousand dollars out of that. So. Uh, all in all, it's a, it's a good day because it's green, but it was just, we had to wait pretty much right till the, the, the death knell, the, the, the final 40 minutes of the market before we could actually trade anything. Realistically, uh, there was nothing nothing moving with good, vo with good volume, uh, any kind of volatility. Uh, there were still things moving up, but not on good volume. High cap stocks were, you know, there was opportunities in, in, in the blue chips. Uh, Tesla, for example, the, the SPY was very choppy. The, the, the overall market, S&P 500, was very, very choppy today. It was up, it was down, it went green, it went red, it went good green. It was, it, I don't think it knew what it wanted to do today. Uh, we had some, some catalysts drop at uh, kind of an hour before the market uh, opened. And, and, and that in itself was... Um, uh, a bit of a non-event as well. We had a sell-off and then a, a quick bounce back, a bit of a yo-yo scenario. So anyway, we've had a green day to the tune of 3,800. We didn't trade on the small account today, but as I say, there just were no real A-plus quality setups. And that's what you're looking for with a small account. Uh, I was able to take a, a few more risks with the large account, but in theory, it probably would have been a good day just to sit on my hands today. Uh, and uh, I, I know a few people were, they were green, red, green, and, and, and yo-yoing on the uh, on, on the balance sheet today uh, within the day trade with Tony community. So it was just one of those days. It was very choppy and difficult to find good traders. So let's look at uh, what we traded and why we traded it. So this was um, Microalgo, MLGO, and uh, pre-market. We saw this moving up pre-market. And we look to, uh, to 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 get in here. We got the, um, the 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 first pullback, so we got in for the for the highs, and then it uh, pulled back, and we ended up we got stopped out at the half dollar. Uh, so if you see this here, it uh, it, it pulled back to two forty nine, and we we stopped out at two fifty. We 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 drew our line in the sand at two fifty. We, we we got in here, 
as it, it was breaking new highs. It was the right setup. It was the right idea. Um, I, I just had my stock. I probably should have put it just below the half dollar, uh, but I, I got in at 263. Uh, and then as it pulled back to 249, I probably should have given it 15 cents instead of just the, the 13. Uh, so if I put it and given it 15 cents, then I would have been at 248. It would pull back to 249. I wouldn't have got stopped out and look at the move it made up. Uh, so we actually got in up at the top of the move again uh, and got faked out. And then at the open, so this is what's known as a gap and go. We had the gap, it pulled back towards the VWAP at the open, and then it moved up. So a bit of a gap and go scenario there. And we looked to get in as it broke the pre-market highs at 312, and it faked us out, and we, we lost there. So all three of those trades we lost. The, the initial entry was on point. I was right with the, with what I called out there in terms of the, the the pullback, and then it just went into consolidation and stopped me out before I really should have been stopped out. I should have held a little bit longer. One cent is, is the difference. I got out at two fifty. It pulled back to two forty nine before moving up to over three dollars. So it's a whole whole half dollar move, well, actually sixty cent move there that I, I potentially could have made um, uh, profitable, and, that, and that's just just an error of judgment on my part that cost me that move so anyway we did trade this a little bit later uh in, in the day and uh, we're able to get a little bit back on this this move here so this was uh around 10 30 this started to move up and uh, once it broke three dollars uh we got this pullback and this is where we got in here and we were able to ride that up to uh, to 370 so we've got a good 50 cent move uh, and uh, we weren't able to make the the, the, the full three and a half thousand back, uh, but we made a good thousand dollars on that um, uh, on that move. So yeah, it, it wasn't a good start to the day, but pretty much every trade we took after the, after the, the, this one, this was our, our, our fourth entry on this one. So um, uh, micro algo, everything else was green, but there wasn't a lot else. That was the problem today. Uh, we did trade, um, as I say, there was uh, an IPO today, which was um, uh, Genolux. And I'll just zoom in here so you can see this better. Okay, so this started trading here at $6. And it moved up into a halt. Moved up, down a little bit, into a halt. It resumed, moved up higher. Uh, then it moved all the way up to almost $8.00 and then it started to pull back down it was very volatile um the spreads were kind of a little bit rangy and uh, I, was, I was calling out the discord just wait for it to settle a little bit and as it pulled back it started to settle and around the vwap so that's i got in for a, a bounce on the vwap as it moved up and it did move up and then it started to pull back so i took took a little bit of uh, off um off the top here and then it pulled back uh, quite hard actually and uh, I, I was able to get out for the rest almost well, just less than break even um and uh it, it i ended up making 166 bucks i think my first uh, realized uh, gains on this was about 400 out of 500 and, uh, and then as it pulled back um uh, i lost the rest on, on the pullback so made 166 dollars uh, on that so it's a green trade um, and then I thought, okay, well, I'll get back in as it moves back up, and it never did. It never got back above the VWAP once uh, once it broke below it, and once it closed below it, and uh, and it's still down there. So uh, it, that that pretty much what it was like up until uh, up until Power Hour, and um, then come Power Hour, we traded uh, uh, Cosmos. So this is Cosmos Holdings, and it was coming up to power hours the last last couple of hours of the of the market we got these couple of spikes so i'll just zoom out a little bit so you can see what it was actually moving kind of sideways there's a decent range i guess see if, if you were looking at the vwap as, a, as, as your support and then taking profits at uh, you know of over seven so there's a good range there around the seven dollar level uh we got in here as it, uh, as it broke 720 we got in here and uh we were able to ride that up uh we put a stop in place a trailing stop in place and as it flushed back down we got stopped out uh we made a little over a thousand dollars on that move it was a good uh you know 20 25 cent move that we got uh and then it, it continued to sell off and, and pull back and then it started to move back up again here so we we're able to get back in here 
uh, and ride this up and then when it pulled back again we got stopped out again so it made 22 just over 2200 on uh, across the two uh, across the two entries there uh, so that was um that was cosmos uh, health not cosmos holdings anymore cosmos health uh, and then uh, tcbp we traded tcbp and this started to make a nice nice move up we, we they, it pulled up first hit the scanners started to consolidate i called it out in the uh, in the discord uh, and then as it broke highs here i was actually calling out um the the, the levels for it for it to, uh, to to break out as it broke highs here we had this flag formation uh, and particularly on the on the two minute, it was much more pronounced um, in terms of a flag formation. We got the, the breakout of the of the flag, and uh, so we got in there, and was able to ride that up, uh, and, uh, and and we got just over three thousand um, dollars on on that move. Uh, it pulled back, uh, and then we got the the, the remaining uh, on this move back up here. So we have got a little bit of consolidation here. And then when it started to make a move up, we got the the remainder of uh, of the four thousand that we've got on on this move up here, and uh, uh, we got out at six dollars. Um, it, it, it did pull back. We had a stop in place here, but it pulled back and uh, and got out. It stopped us out just below six dollars. So we finished four thousand dollars up on on that. So we've got a good day's trading, a good green day. Not another green day, but not quite at goal. Not too worried about that. We've had some big days this month, so. I, I, I needed two and a half thousand dollars per day to, to get to the monthly goal over the remaining days. Um, two and a half, three three thousand eight hundred is over the two and a half thousand dollars. So we're we're on track for the monthly goal. So let's let's take a look, shall we? Uh, how are we on track for the monthly goal? So um, I've been putting the trades already. You can see I've got the the, the thirty eight hundred there, there. But let's have a look at the uh, actual reports themselves. Monthly goal is um, 120,000. We've got three days left. We've got six thousand dollars to do. Well, five and a half, just over five and a half thousand dollars to do. Uh, so two and a half a day will not only get us over that; it, it will get it will get us over that significantly. Uh, I'm still aiming for six thousand a day. The goal is six thousand a day, but that's the average. Average at the moment is just over seven thousand dollars. So if we're getting less than that less than six it's still going to you know be there or thereabouts for, for for this month unless i have a big drawdown uh that we're going to be averaging around the uh, the six seven thousand dollar mark so that's the goal is is to get to 120 thousand on the month to average six thousand or better and uh, we'll go into february then with hopefully a nice cushion so that that's that's where we are at the moment we're on track for the month um the K ratio, which is risk versus, which is based on the risk versus reward, uh, it, it, a good K ratio is is two, and over that, so across the month, it, that's actually looking looking really well. My profit factor two point oh eight, um, and thirty four percent on the on the Kelly percentage. So uh, number of winning trades versus um, uh, versus losing trades. So it's a sixty six thirty three two to one. Uh, pretty much on point in terms of uh, trade selection. If we look at the uh, the win loss at comparison, two twenty versus one hundred and six. So two two twenty versus one hundred and ten is two to one on the win win versus the you know gains versus losses. Uh, so the ratio, the golden ratio of two to one, is pretty much being met at the moment. And as long as we can maintain those ratios and get that average six thousand this year looks like it's going to be another good year so we're only january we're coming up to the end of january we've got another day tomorrow uh we've got two more days next week uh but we do it all again uh we'll be streaming our trading live an hour before the market opens for pre-market so last hour of pre-market uh, as as the uh, as, if the market starts to hot up again, I'll go back to uh, to doing ninety minutes pre market. But uh, at the moment, I'm doing the last hour of the pre market, sixty minutes, and the first ninety minutes of the the, the regular session. So join me tomorrow, eight thirty a.m. market time. That's New York or East Coast. It's one thirty p.m. here in uh, where I'm based in in, in Ireland. Uh, it's 1.30 in the in the UK. If uh, if you are not in any of those regions, but you still want to join me, just uh, hit the uh, hit the, the subscription 
button for this uh, you know subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and uh, that will notify you when I'm going live or when I'm dropping one of these uh, recap videos or, or when I'm dropping a tutorial video or whatever I'm dropping on this channel, you get a notification bell when it's happened. So hit, make sure you hit that notification bell. And as well, do me a solid. If you've enjoyed this video, if you're enjoying my content, um, hit the thumbs up button. It really helps me out uh, with the YouTube algorithm. And uh, come join me tomorrow. We do it all again. I look forward to seeing you to see out the week, Friday being the end of the week. Take care, enjoy the rest of your evening.